Hey guys, uh, this is Al again. I'm over back at the shop. Um, excuse all the leaves, uh, it's obviously autumn now and I have a little vent right above the lift. So it's, uh, it's always dumping leaves uh, this time of year. But anyway, uh, today I'm going to see if I can... I don't really have that much time to play with this because I'm planning a trip pretty soon and I need to get ready for that trip. But um, I'm going to see if I can get the, bled, uh, the, uh, the brakes bled out. Um, as I mentioned before, this car is, uh, the brakes are completely non-functional. I'm not sure exactly what the problem is, but um, I think only one brake caliper is actually engaging, nothing else is. Uh, in any case, uh, this system is a little bit unusual. It doesn't have a brake master cylinder, or it does have a brake master cylinder, but it doesn't have a brake booster or a, or a servo, as they call them back in England. Um, instead, what it does have is it has uh, an ABS pump, and I'll take the camera off in a second and show you that. Um, and basically, the pump builds up pressure and activates the, the, the rear brakes, and uh, also. Um, provides the vacuum assistance effectively. Uh, let me just take the camera off and I'll show you what I'm talking oh, about. Yeah. So this is, um, you know, as you can see over there, um, there's no vacuum booster on this car, but instead what it has is it has this uh, ABS pump and uh, that pump builds up pressure, pressurizes this, um, this accumulator and uh, that provides you with the vacuum, uh, well, basically the booster brakes and as well as the uh, uh, controls like the ABS and the rear brakes. There's, there's kind of a special way to bleed this system. I think um, it's, uh, I think I understand how it works, but effectively the way it works is that uh, you need to first uh, bleed out the main reservoir and the way you do that is, I keep, I keep hearing that you need, need to disconnect this uh, connection over here. But this is concerning me because it's just a little plastic line, uh, you know, um, fitting. And I don't want to break it. So I'm going to just try to disconnect it here. Uh, let that system bleed out until uh, you see no air. And then, uh, and then once you connect everything back up, uh, you can bleed the back brakes by activating the ABS pump and then bleed the front brakes normally. So I'm going to go through that process and see if I can uh, uh, make it work. Uh, this non-functional braking system and the fact that I think the radio, radius arm bushings are, are uh, completely demolished is what's preventing me from, uh, from driving this car. So um, uh, let me put the camera back up. Um, I'm going to siphon the, um, the reservoir and then add new brake fluid and then uh, put the car up in the air and see if I can get it bled. Alright All right, guys, so what I've got here is my uh, vacuum extractor. Um, I use this mostly for uh, doing oil changes, especially if I have a car that has the oil filter that you can get to from the top of the car, from you know the engine bay, without having to get underneath it, then um, you know, I feel like there's no reason to uh, uh, lift the car up, get underneath it and drain the oil. You can pretty much uh, siphon the oil out and uh, change the filter you know from the top so pretty much any of my uh, Mercedes that were built you know in the 90s or later late 90s you know uh, 129s, 210s, um, uh, 220s uh, those kind of cars they all have uh, oil filters that are accessible from the top so it's easier just to siphon the, uh, the oil out than, than to uh, you know drain it so I use this, but I'm going to use it today to siphon the oil from the, uh, well not the oil, but the brake fluid from the, uh, from the reservoir.
got my small jug of ATE fluid. So, I've got the uh, car up on the lift. Um, the first thing I'm going to be doing is bleeding the uh, rear brakes. So, the rear brakes on these cars are somewhat uh, different to bleed than conventional brakes, where you you know either use a vacuum bleeder, a pressure bleeder, or uh, you know a two-man system uh, to bleed the brakes. In order to bleed the brakes on this car, you need to um, activate the ABS pump. And the way to do it is to basically activate the ABS pump and crack the bleeder lines open and then uh, uh, press the brake pedal until, until uh, you stop seeing air coming out the, the, uh, the system. And then you tighten up the brake lines and you let go of the brakes and you give it time to recover and then you kind of do it again. Um, really requires two people, but I, I don't have a second person with me, so I'm going to use this little um, stick over here just to basically uh, uh, press against the, uh, the pedal, and uh, hopefully that'll do the job. Uh, I'm trying it, I haven't, I haven't uh, uh, done this before, so uh, we'll, we'll see how it works out. So uh, The front brakes bleed conventionally, so and I've already bled the master cylinder out or the actual reservoir out, so that should be good. So it's just a matter of turning on the ignition, cracking open the bleeder line, depressing the brake pedal, making sure that the, uh, the you know that the system's air free, then closing the bleeder line and uh, and uh, um, uh, releasing the brake pedal, turning off the ignition, giving the time, the pump time to cool down, and then going back to the other the other uh, caliper. So we'll give it a go, see how it works out. All right, guys, so there it goes. Put the bleeder line on it. So this is, let's see how all this goes. Right, so you can see basically I've got the bleeder line on and uh, it's going into that little bottle, the old water bottle. So the theory goes, ignition's on, the system's charged up. If I crack open the bleeder line, that's the furthest one away from the, uh, from the master cylinder. You see that? That's, uh, that's some worn out bushings there. Down, there you go. So I crack that line open. And you're seeing fluid coming out. Not sure, let me see if I can zoom in. Alright, so what you should technically be able to see when I depress the brake pedal is um, a fluid move at a pretty rapid pace.
All right, let's do that again. Crap line open. I think that that's bled the system through. I was seeing a consistent stream of uh, uh, brake fluid coming out of the, the bleeder line. So um, at this point, I'm just going to put the wheel back on and then flip over onto the other side and do the same thing. And that should technically bleed the brakes on the, uh, on the, um, on the rear. And then we'll get going on the front. The front, I may just pressure bleed if I can get away with it, if I can pressure bleed through the ABS pump I'm just going to pressure bleed them because it's a little bit cumbersome to do it this way um, being that I'm just by myself alright so um, I remember I replaced this caliper uh, back when I first bought the car which was around 8 years ago All right, so I'm not sure if you can see this well enough. Let me bring this over here. And that's a pretty consistent flow right now. I'm going to let it run one more time before I shut the line off. On. Oh, bled. That's a decent amount of fluid, right? So we bled out of the system. So now I guess I'll put the wheel on, uh, put the car back up in the air, and then we can bleed the front brakes. And I think I'll just let them uh, drip bleed. You know, I won't, I won't pressure bleed them. I'll just let them bleed by themselves. We'll see how that works out. All right, guys. Um, so I had to switch over to my cell phone uh, camera. I couldn't gravity bleed the brake, so I put my motive pressure bleeder on, and I had to pressurize the system to about 12 psi in order to get it to bleed. But I did get the um, the front uh, passenger side 
bled to where it was consistently uh, um, uh, flowing without any any air in the system. So now it's just a matter of me doing uh, the last one, which is the driver's side front wheel, and I should be in good shape. So let's see if we can get that. I've already cracked the nut open, as you can see. It's um, pretty rusty. This car came from Detroit when I bought it. So it's not the, uh, the typical Texas car, which looks like it's brand spanking new under the, uh, in the chassis. This thing's got a little bit of rust. I mean, nothing's gone through, nothing critical, but it kind of reminds me of cars I spent some time in England. And as a result, you know, are a little bit rusty. So I cracked this line. This is not not good because I cracked this line open, and I can't really see any fluid coming out of this. So maybe this thing won't bleed. Hmm. All right, guys. So um, I couldn't get this caliper to bleed it just didn't want to play um, I even used this uh, vacuum uh, suction pump which it, it didn't make a difference it wouldn't it would just barely bleed out so so I'm pretty sure that this caliper is hosed um, and either will need a rebuild or a fresh caliper I don't know which ones which ones are better option I'll figure it out but in any case um, I'm at a stop, stopping point right now. All the other, all the other uh, uh, calipers bled out. So break a little bit better than before because before it was atrocious. But uh, we'll see. I'm going to lower the car. I'm going to just try to move it a little bit and see how it behaves. How it behaves. Well, well, first thing I can tell, you know, even though I know that I have to replace that other caliper, the brake pedal feels a million times better. The um, the pedal's got good pressure now. Um, it doesn't feel like it's, it's about to sink to the floor. The ABS pump isn't running continuously, which is bloody wonderful. Um, so, yeah, the brake's much better. Inside this shop, uh, the ground's pretty slippery, so there's always a problem uh, with, you know, how much grip you have. But before, I couldn't even keep the car still with the brakes fully applied. And now, you know, I can put the car in gear. Right. You know, all in all, definitely need to replace the uh, driver's side caliper, but um, it looks like this method, I need, I need to get some uh, good replacement belts for this car, but this method seems to have worked pretty well as far as uh, bleeding out the braking. So that's it pretty much. I think I'm done for the day. Thank you very much, guys.